Hi guys, welcome back to Ricola's Crochet and Things. I am Crystal. Um, sorry if you can hear noise in the background. It's the fire, uh, not the fire truck, the um, garbage truck's going by, so you might hear that. It's kind of loud at this time of day. Um, so I don't really have a whole lot to talk about today. Um, I haven't really been doing much. Well, I shouldn't say that. I've been doing a lot of crocheting, but it's all bigger projects, and none of them are even close to being finished. I have my husband's Mopar blanket and I'm only on the second color and I'm just starting the lettering so there's nothing really to show on that one. Um, I'm doing a shirt with the skull on it. It's The skull is almost finished and then I'm working on the back piece at the same time so I can kind of have it somewhat ready to go for the sleeves next. Um, so as soon as I get the sleeves going, hopefully I be, I'll get it done somewhat this weekend and hopefully have it finished up by the next week so I can show you guys some actual finished stuff. Um, okay, so I wanted to actually talk about a few things. Um, I don't know if any of you watch, um, Nicole from Durob Creations. Um, she is doing a crochet along and it is an amigurumi create along. Sorry, not crochet along. It's a create along. She has um, a, a page on Ravelry where you can go check her out. It's Durob Creations. And she has um, a chatter thread and a finished objects thread. So it's all amigurumi. I think she said she was going to leave it open for two months. So you have time to get it done, get stuff going. You'd have to check out her. Um, she's on YouTube. You'd have to check out Durob Creations. And her name is Nicole here on YouTube and she talks about it in her previous video which I think she put out yesterday or the day before. So I did start working on that. My daughter wants, I don't know if anybody knows what it is, but Bendy and the Ink Machine is a game she plays and she wants a couple of the stuffies. We went to the store and she saw them and they were, I want to say $24 for one stuffy. So I've started it, it's not finished. So here it is. It's creepy smile. I've still got to do his eyes and the rest of his parts, but I've got his body and his head and his, his face, and then I've got to put the horns on. So I'm I'm still working on it, but I started it yesterday, and just after I saw her video, I was like, "Ooh, I can enter this in." It's something I've got to get done, so I'm I'm gonna be finishing that up hopefully today or tomorrow, and then I will post it in the finished objects thread that she has. The next. Um, yeah, the next, sorry, I'm looking down at the paper because I have to keep reminding myself what I want to talk about. Um, so I don't know if you guys watch Holly from the proper pineapple. She is doing a mystery birthday cow or M cow or something like that. So it's a mystery birthday crochet along and it is a crochet along. It is crochet pattern and it's on Ravelry and um, she is also on YouTube. You can check her out. She goes into detail about it. Um, so she's releasing the pattern in small sections or not small sections in sections every Monday. So it started April 1st and it's every Monday from April 1st for four Mondays, you get a, another part of the pattern. I haven't actually started it yet. I have my, th my yarn for it. I just haven't started it because I'm working on a lot of other things, but, um, She's not going to open up, She, I think she has a chatter thread on Ravelry, but she's not opening up a finished projects page until obviously the fourth mystery, um, the fourth part of the pattern will be out and then she will open it up to finish it off. Um, apparently it's really easy. I've read the first section and it looks like it's just a nice easy textured shawl and you basically need to know how to do double crochet, front post, back post puff stitches it's not hard um but it is a paid for pattern but she's i think it's five dollars and like i said it'll update every monday and give you the new clue to the pattern um so that's i'm i'm gonna start doing it i just haven't got it started yet maybe by the next time i post a video i'll have it started i don't know i'm not gonna hold myself to that because i have a lot of other projects that i'm trying to get finished and it's not working which brings me to the next, um, the next one, uh, Debbie at the Canadian Crotcheter. 
or Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter. Um, she is hosting another crochet along or create along, I guess it would be. It's called the Sprawl Cow. And they've already opened up a, um, over on Ravelry, they've opened up a chatter thread and a finished objects thread. And basically it's a wearable for spring. Now, I, I guess it means you can, she goes into detail. You'd have to check out the Canadian Crotcheter um, YouTube channel. And I think she's teamed up with Karen from Happiness is Homemade. So you could check out their channels and they would probably have more details about it. But it is something about spring wearables. I think she said it could be uh, just spring colors. You could do scarves, shawls, um, you know, sweaters, whatever that you would wear for spring. And it's spring colors and spring related. Um, I'm not sure of the rules. You'd have to check out Debbie's video. Um, so I actually went out and bought, I'm going to make a shawl. I've, I've also started a, um, it's like a sweater, but it's a short sleeve one and it's in spring colors. So it's not even a quarter of the way done. So I might actually work on that and enter that as well. But I went out and got the Lion Brand Summer Nights, um, yarn. It is super fine, I believe. It is a size one and it is 875 yards, machine wash and dryable, it's 82% acrylic, 14, no wait, yeah, sorry, 82% acrylic and 18% polyester. So it's very pretty colors. This colorway says passion fruit. So I figured this kind of to me screams springtime, springtime colors, it's very bright. So I'm going to make a shawl out of that. I don't know how big it's going to be. It's very fine, so I'll probably use a very small hook. Maybe a 3, 3.5 hook. And we'll see how it works out. So that's what I got for that. So that's pretty much it for whips. I haven't actually showed you a lot of whips. Just the stuffy I'm making and showed you the yarn I'm going to use for the other one. Um, acquisitions. I haven't got much. I haven't been going out and buying anything. I did, however, I am going to start a sock. I don't know if it's going to be a knit one or a crocheted one. I'm going to, I'm going to say crochet is probably where I'm going to go for the first pair of socks. But I saw this at Michael's, the Lion Brand Manny Petty. Um, it was expensive. It was $7 for this little teeny skein of yarn and it is called I guess the colorway is called mittens yeah it says mittens and it is 219 yards 200 meters size one again um what's it I, I don't know if I'm just my eyeballs are not working today uh, oh there it is oh so it is 75 superwash wool and 25% polymate. So that's probably why it was so expensive. So I didn't know, it doesn't say or indicate on this ball whether it makes one sock or a pair of socks. I don't know. I have no clue. So instead of tempting fate, I bought a second one. And then I just noticed now when I was looking at it, it doesn't look like the same. It's the same colorway but they don't look the same, do they? So if it only makes one sock and then I got to make a second sock with a second ball, they're not going to look at all the same, but whatever. It, I mean, I'll be fine with it. I'm just going to try it and see. I'm going to try using one and hope I can get two pair or two pair, a pair out of the one ball. But if not, then I guess I'm going to have to suck it up and just like whatever happens with the second ball. So that's that. Um, what else? Oh yes, I went on Wish and I I know I keep talking about wanting to start knitting. I don't have anything for knitting. I'm not a knitter, I'm a crocheter. I've never really bought anything for knitting. But So these were three bucks for one, two, three, four, sorry for the crinkling, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten different pairs. But the only crappy part is, okay, this is what they look like. 
they each come with a needle too. Every single one has that has that little needle in it. Every pair has that. So they are, they, from what I'm gathering, they are very small. The cord is very tiny. I think it's 16, maybe. I don't think I read it properly when I should have. See, there's, they're all, they're just, they're thicker ones and stuff. Like here, they're thicker, but the cord is the exact same size on every single one. And from what I'm gathering, it basically looks like it shows you on here you could make mittens, you can make socks, you can make a scarf, you can make a hat, all that kind of stuff using these. So I don't know. I'm going to have to... I thought the cord were were going the cords were going to be different sizes. I didn't realize that they were going to send me the same size cord and 11 different sizes. I didn't realize that when I bought it, but I mean 3 bucks. What are you going to do for $3? I'm going to just suck it up. I'm going to look and see what I can find on Wish and see if I can find something else. The next thing I found when I was at my dollar store, so the Dollarama here in Canada, I don't think they have it anywhere else. They might have in the States, I'm not really sure. It's Dollarama. I went in and a while ago I found a single pack for kids um, called Nooks. The Nook, how to work the Nook and how to learn how to do the Nook and everything. Well, lo and behold, I went to a completely, sorry if the light's kind of crappy. I went to a completely different Dollarama from the one I went to, and I found this. So it's a complete kit. It says, now you can knit with a crochet hook. Step-by-step -step learn to nook instruction book, and it's a beginner set, and it says you can use all types of weights. It comes with the five different needles, and it comes with four different, five different ropes, or yeah, ropes, and then... I'm assuming these are for weights to help hold it and stuff. I'm not really sure. And then it comes with three darning needles. So I picked it up. And then I was looking. And it was right around the corner from where that one was. And I found this one. The complete one. I The other day I got one. It was like one of these and one of these were in the set. But this one actually has a lot more hooks. So two, four, six, eight, ten hooks, and it comes with ten cords, and uh, yeah, I was very surprised when I saw this. I was like, oh, that's cool. Now, I'm not going to open this. I'm going to keep this and just put it aside. Who knows, maybe in the future when I do another giveaway, I'll include this one. I am going to open the other one eventually and give it a whirl and see if I can learn how to nook. I don't know. If it's something I'm going to get into or I'm going to like doing. But that's pretty much what I'm going to do with it. So that's it. I actually don't have anything else. I have nothing else to really say or do. I didn't write any other information down, which I probably should have. Um, I'll give a couple of shout outs to a couple of channels I've been tuning into. Which is Carrie and it's Carrie's Down the Rabbit Hole. Um, she's been having a lot of... Um, hardship with the knit crate um, she's basically paid for two months and hasn't received any of those months boxes yet I can see her frustration and I feel for her. it's it to me that they're they need to step up their customer service game I'm not a huge fan of knit crate anymore I'm actually trying to step away from them and go with a local company to me and local companies around me in general um, I feel bad for her so but if you if you want to give her uh, a look and check out her channel she does a lot of spinning um, give her a look and there was a few other channels and now I'm drawing a blank if I can remember them I will do shout outs in the next video um, oh and a quick reminder I am still uh, doing my hundred giveaway it ends on Monday the 8th at noon, I will be picking a winner, so you still have time to enter, so go and click on that video. All you have to do is be a subscriber and put a comment in that um, down in that video, so that way I can use the random comment picker. That will be happening on Monday the 8th at noon, so noon my time, so Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to get entered into that, please go and check out that video and 
leave a comment so you can get entered into that giveaway. Um, my other giveaway will be coming soon. Um, I'm just waiting. I think she said something around the middle of the month is when I'll get my monthly subscription from the Wool Queen. So look forward to that. That will be happening soon. And also, um, Red Gingerbread, if you are watching, um, you were the winner for my first giveaway, which was the YouTube customer, or not customer, subscriber appreciation giveaway that I did um, for the February Knit Crate. You haven't claimed it and it's still sitting here. So if you could please get a hold of me, um, you could, I'll leave my email down below. It's Ricola Crochet and stuff at uh, gmail.com. I will leave that down below. Or you can even um, find me on uh, Ravelry at Loomer Ricola 33. Again, I'll leave that down below. I just need you to message me um, so I can get your details of where, how, where to ship the package. Um, so if you could please get a hold of me. I'm still waiting on you. And um, that's pretty much it. Alright, well thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening to me babble for about 17 minutes. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. It is growing by the day and that is fantastic. And I look forward to... Um, chatting again soon. Um, that's it. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody.